In recent years, the Egyptian government has undertaken several transformative initiatives in the realms of roads and transportation, with the primary objective of enhancing mobility for its citizens while alleviating traffic congestion. Notably, one of these ambitious endeavors is the construction of the monorail system, which has already taken shape with towering foundation structures spanning various areas in Cairo, extending from the fifth settlement to Nasser City and beyond. As the name implies, a monorail is a type of railway that operates on a single rail, necessitating minimal space while achieving higher speeds compared to traditional metros and trains. Consequently, the monorail project stands as one of the most highly anticipated national endeavors poised to furnish Egyptians with a swift, comfortable, secure, and eco-friendly mode of transportation. Furthermore, it serves as the inaugural public transportation system linking the new administrative capital and 6th of October city to Greater Cairo. The National Authority of Tunnels in Egypt just spilled the beans on the monorail project's timeline. They're saying that both lines will be good to go in about three and a half years from the day they inked the deal with the executive companies. The first phase of the administrative capital line was bound to open its doors in October 2022. The second phase will be all wrapped up and ready to roll by February 2024. They're really getting things moving over there, and that's not all. The 6th of October City Line is planning to make its grand debut in the middle of 2023. It'll be a big year for the monorail project, that's for sure. The monorail project in Cairo is set to include two major lines. The first line will stretch for 54 kilometers, connecting the new administrative city with East Cairo. The second line will cover a distance of 42 kilometers, linking 6th of October City with Giza. The new administrative capital line will feature a total of 21 stations, while the 6th of October city line will have 12 stations. On the new administrative capital line, the monorail will pass through various key locations, starting from stadium and ending in the administrative capital. The 6th of October city line, on the other hand, will begin at Bulak Gamet al Deval and pass through Ring Road, passing through some areas to end in the industrial zone where high-speed railway stops. These extensive monorail lines are set to greatly improve transportation options and connectivity in Cairo, providing convenient access to various important areas within the city. Cairo Monorail will employ fleets of 70 Bombardier Innovia Monorail 300 trains, which are entirely automated and driverless. Each train consists of four cars and is constructed using extruded aluminium panels, ensuring resistance to corrosion and enabling recyclability. To enhance passenger comfort, the monorail trains will be equipped with rubber tires, minimizing noise levels during operation. These trains are specifically designed with short headways, allowing for efficient spacing between trains and possess the ability to navigate sharp curves with radii of up to 46 meters and steep gradients of 6%. The train system incorporates advanced communication technology and intelligent power management systems, promoting enhanced energy efficiency throughout its operations. With a maximum speed of 80 km per hour, the monorail trains will provide swift transportation along both lines. The selection of the Innovia Monorail 300 trains was based on their suitability for congested urban environments and their exceptional performance in driverless operations. These trains are already successfully serving commuters in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and will soon be implemented in Bangkok, Thailand, and Wuhu, China, further attesting to their esteemed reputation. The monorail system is going all out with Bombardier's CityFlow 650 signaling and automatic train control technology. This fancy tech enables driverless train operations DTO, or unattended train operations UTO, using some cool moving block technology. But wait, there's more. This system will also include an operation control center and communication systems. Plus, they've got a bunch of electrical and mechanical equipment like platform screen doors, fare collection systems, power supply and distribution setups, switch beams, and depot equipment, enabling the monorail with all the bells and whistles to ensure smooth and efficient operations. Cairo Monorail is going to be a people mover. It'll have the power to whisk away around 45,000 passengers per hour in each direction when it's running at full tilt. And check this out. If you're hopping on the new administrative city line, the travel time from start to finish will be about 60 minutes for the 54-kilometer journey. On the 6th of October city line, which spans 42 kilometers, you'll be zooming through the tracks in just around 42 minutes. So, brace yourselves for some speedy monorail action that'll have you zipping across Cairo in no time. Here's the lowdown on the project's financing. Egypt's new Urban Communities Authority, NUCA, is chipping in with a loan to help fund it. They've got a repayment period of 14 years to take care of that. 
Guess who's leading the charge on building this monorail extravaganza? It's none other than Bombardier, the top pick for the job. They'll be handling the design, supply and installation of the rolling stock, as well as all the nifty electrical and mechanical equipment. Oh, and get this, they'll be manufacturing the rolling stock right in Derby, UK. But wait, there's more. Bombardier will also take charge of project management, systems engineering and integration, and the all-important task of testing and commissioning the trains and signalling. Talk about a one-stop shop. The Cairo monorail project just gave a big thumbs up to the Schindler Group, a fancy Swiss company known for making escalators, elevators, and those moving walkway thingies. Word on the street is that Schindler scored a sweet deal to supply some serious equipment for the monorail system. They're going to be responsible for delivering, installing and maintaining a whopping 136 elevators and 272 escalators. That's a lot of vertical transportation, folks. Once this whole project is completed, the Cairo monorail is going to be quite the record breaker. It'll be the world's longest driverless monorail system. That's right, folks. You can hop on board and let the monorail do all the driving. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Let's not forget about Oriscom. They've got their hands full with the design and construction of all the infrastructure and civil works. They're the ones making sure everything is solid and good to go. And here's the kicker. The consortium responsible for all this greatness will not only build it, but also operate and maintain both lines for a whopping 30 years. They're in it for the long haul. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in to our latest video. We hope you enjoyed getting a closer look at this incredible project. But wait, <laughs> there's more. If you're as obsessed with mega projects as we are, you won't want to miss out on our upcoming videos of the mega projects around the globe. From the marvels of civil engineering to natural landscapes, we've got you covered with in-depth analyses. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because you won't want to miss a single video. And as always, we love hearing from our viewers. So leave your feedback and suggestions in the comments section below.